Hey, this is Wendy with Loaves and Dishes, and today we are going to talk about how to saute mushrooms. This is what you need, some vegetable oil, a knife, and a cutting board, and a frying pan, um, and a stove, <laughs> or something to heat with. The first thing that you're going to want to do is put a couple of tablespoons of oil. Now I'm using um, olive oil in this video. I had vegetable oil in the opening picture. Either one will work. Um, butter will work as well. So put your oil in your pan and turn the stove on and you want to let that pan come to temperature, which takes a little bit. So I cut part of that off and you can see I'm just walking around my kitchen waiting for the pan to heat. Um, so once your pan is warm enough, um, of course you're going to want to have your mushrooms sliced and this works for any kind of mushroom baby bellas portabellas button mushrooms any that you've got this will work you just want them to be in uh, mostly even thickness pieces so you can see i have mine chopped here or sliced you can chop them up small however you want to use them just spread them out in the pan so that they can get some good heat on them add a little salt and let them do their thing. That's pretty much as easy as it, I mean, as simple as it is. So you're gonna wanna use the freshest mushrooms you can get your hands on. These that I'm making this video with are not the freshest, but it's the freshest that my store had. It is pandemic times after, after all. <laughs> anyway, you just let them go and you will see after a little bit that it seems like there's water in the pan and you didn't put water in the pan. So where did the water come from? It came from inside the mushrooms. Um, so just let that, once the water starts to come out, just let that evaporate off and then your um, mushrooms will start to brown a little bit after that and they'll be done. Now the older that your mushrooms are, like these that I put in this pan, I think even though I just bought them from the store or maybe a little bit older, they don't release as much water. If you have very fresh mushrooms, it's kind of a lot of water. So don't let that alarm you. Just, just let it heat right on through. That water will evaporate and um, you'll be left with beautiful sauteed mushrooms. Now let's talk while we're waiting for these to saute for just a minute. What are some ways that you might use these mushrooms? We love them um, served over the top of a piece of steak or on a hamburger. We also love them just mixed like this in pasta with some salt and garlic. Boy, that's delicious. Um, there are lots and lots of ways to use mushrooms. And if you head over to loavesanddishes.net, our website, you'll find lots of recipes for mushrooms. Just put mushrooms in the search bar at the top of the page and you'll um, it'll pull up a lot of mushroom recipes because I'm just crazy about mushrooms. Anyway, you can see they're getting a little bit more shiny now and that's the tiny bit of water that's coming out of these mushrooms. <laughs> um, and they're gonna brown a little bit. It, di it didn't take a lot of oil and that oil seemed to kind of go away as soon as I put it in the pan. I mean, as soon as I put the mushrooms in the pan. Anyway, in just a second here, they're, I'm going to declare them done and I'm going to plate them up and uh, go ahead and get them out. Anyway, come join me over at loavesanddishes.net. I've got a lot of great recipes that you will enjoy of how to do all kinds of things, simple recipes that'll have your family begging for more as soon as you put it on the table, okay? So it was great talking to you today. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. There we go, let's plate it up.
watching this video, I hope you'll join Sarah and I on our mother-daughter adventures in takeout. You can find Dorks with Sports wherever you download podcasts or at dorkswithsports.com. Mm-hmm.